Hi and welcome to my top tips for buying wine with me, Jo Stewart. Choosing wine can be seriously confusing. You are faced with hundreds of bottles of wine, you were supposed to be somewhere five minutes ago and you have no idea what to pick. Do you pick based on price? Do you pick based on the label? Who on earth knows? Hopefully, the, these five handy tips will help you. Tip number one, make sure you're buying from the right place and that tends not to be the supermarket for a couple of reasons. Now generally for a wine to be stocked in a supermarket that winemaker has to be making a lot of wine so that it can stock the shelves of those supermarkets all around the country. So generally these wines will be mass produced, batch cooked, factory wines. So all the wine will taste the same and then it's artificially flavoured for each different bottle. There tends to be nothing unique about them. Now if you're short on funds or short on time and you're in the supermarket doing a food shop, fantastic. But if you're looking for a gift or for a bottle of wine for a dinner party, then make sure that you're heading to a wine merchant's. At a wine merchant's or a specialist wine shop, you are far more likely to find a fantastic bottle of wine with more character for around the eight to 10 pounds mark. Tip number two, let the staff help you. Now, when you're in the wine merchants, ask for recommendations because the staff there will be used to tasting these wines regularly and they'll be able to point you in the direction of a real find. Now, generally in Tesco, your average Tesco worker is not going to be able to help you do that. Some people I appreciate have a fear of asking in specialist wine shops because they fear that they will be judged. But believe me, the wine enthusiasts who work in these shops absolutely love helping and will point you in the direction of a real diamond. Tip number three, consider what you're buying the wine for. Is it to take to a dinner party? Is it as a gift? Is it a midweek tipple for yourself? Or is it for with your Friday night takeaway? Now, if it's a dinner party, consider what you're gonna be serving for your meal. If it's not your dinner party, then call the host and ask what they're planning to serve and explain that you'd like to bring a, a bottle of wine along that will perfectly complement it. If you're not sure on what will go best, then again, ask for a recommendation and the staff in the shop will be able to help you. If it's for a gift, then find out what that person's favourite variety of wine is. And again, work out something that they'll love based on that. Now, if it's a midweek tipple for yourself, work out are you going to be eating with it or are you just looking for something really nice and drinkable that you can have on its own? Now don't forget that often having a nice bottle of wine at home when you're completely chilled out is when you will appreciate and enjoy it most. So don't feel that you need to go low value wine for when you're drinking it at home. Remember that life is too short for bad wine. When it comes to choosing the bottle, don't pick based on the label. Now, a lot of winemakers are really upping the label game at the moment. There are lots of fantastic, eye-catching, funky labels out there. But let's face it, you're not looking at the label when you're drinking the wine. So don't go based on the label alone. Now take old world French wines, for example. Some of the labels can be quite dull and boring, often having a house or a chateau on the front, but often the wines are the most interesting. Tip number four don't get stuck in a wine rut. It gets boring when you just stick to the same wine and you buy the same bottle again and again. There are literally millions of bottles of wine out there, so don't limit yourself, go out and explore them. Now, this actually happened to me a little while ago. I got stuck in a bit of a wine rut where all I was doing was buying Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. Now, don't get me wrong, there are fantastic Sauvignon Blancs coming out of New Zealand, but there's a huge wine world outside that region and outside the Sauvignon. So get exploring and get tasting. There are some really beautiful wines coming over from Italy, Spain, Chile, even Croatia and Eastern Europe as well. And it's really good to explore the difference in varieties as well. So, for, for example, uh, Chardonnay from the Burgundy region in France is going to taste completely different to a Chardonnay from Napa Valley in California. One really great way to try new wines regularly is to join a wine club and I have put a link to the wine club that I would recommend below. Tip number five, be a savvy wine enthusiast. Now often when you buy a case of wine, that's 12 bottles, you will get on average 10% discount. So if you find a wine that you love and you know that you're going to be entertaining, then consider stocking up and getting the discount on the wine. 
The second thing you can do to explore new wines is to attend a wine tasting. Now at a wine tasting you're paying a lower price and you're getting to taste a lot of wines rather than having to buy a bottle of each. And the bonus is you also get the benefit of someone else's expertise as well. The wine club I've linked below actually offers six bottles of wine free every month to anyone who introduces three friends to the wine club. So take note, wine lovers. So to recap, when you're trying to buy a killer bottle of wine, make sure that you're shopping in the right place. So find an independent wine merchant rather than throwing a bottle into your trolley when you're doing your weekly food shop. Ask the staff for recommendations as they will be tasting the wine regularly and don't be afraid that they will judge you for not being a wine expert. Consider the reason you're buying the wine and don't buy based on the label. Don't get stuck in a wine rut. Try new varieties and consider broadening your horizons by joining a wine club. And finally, be a savvy shopper and shop so you get discount on bulk purchases, attend wine tasting and get your wine for free by introducing others to the wine club. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment below and subscribe for more killer content each week. And don't forget to download the handy PDF that's linked below. See you next time.